Hey everyone, hope you're having a really great day. I am here with my June favorites. I'm sorry it's a little late, but better late than never, right? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, I'm gonna start with skincare. I have two products um, that I've really been enjoying. The first one is the St. Ives Green Tea Scrub, which is paraben free. Fabulous. Got this um, at Target, I believe. Um, just a sample size to try it out, and I really like it. Um, First of all, it smells really nice. Got like the obviously it kind of smells like green tea. So it's a really nice and fresh scent. Um, but it doesn't linger on your skin or anything like that. It's just nice to kind of like wake you up um, for a few minutes in the morning. Um, it's a really fine scrub. It's not super harsh, which is great. Um, it leaves your skin feeling really soft, so it hasn't broken me out at all either. So um, this is definitely a winner, and yeah, I've really been enjoying that lately. The other thing that I want to talk about is the Vaseline Total Moisture Lotion. And it has pure oat extract. So um, it is very, very nice and moisturizing, but it's not too thick. Um, it's a very light lotion, um, which is great for the summertime because you don't want to feel like you're wearing too much product. Um, so this has really been something that I've been enjoying using. It's really easy to use. Um, it has kind of a very light smell. Um, nothing too strong. Um, so yeah, this is just a great um, everyday lotion for the summertime because it's not too thick, but it still gets the gel done and moisturizes your skin. Um, next, I'm going to get into the two lip products that I've been loving. The first one is this Chroma Beauty Lip Gloss, which is Kourtney, Kim, and Khloe Kardashian's makeup line. This is in the color of Orange Blossom Honey. And this whole line has honey actually in the formulation of the lip gloss um so it smells like honey which is awesome it smells really really good um it's nice and thick not too thick um but it leaves like a really nice coat on your lips this color is kind of um on the lighter side but very very light coral um, if you wear it over a lipstick, um, it's more pigmented, but if you wear it on its own, it's actually a little bit more of a natural coral, so it's not super bright, so it's great for every day. Um, the packaging is really nice too. It's got like little honeycombs on it, um, which is great, and it's pretty affordable too, so I've really, really been liking this a lot lately. Because I just love like coral colors for the summertime. Another color that I love for summertime is fuchsia, which leads me to my next product. And the labels are worn off because this has stayed in my purse so much this month. But this is the NYC Liquid Lip Shine in Fashion Avenue Fuchsia, which is a beautiful, like not like a bright fuchsia. Um, it's a little bit more on the darker side. I'm actually wearing this over my lipstick today. Um, but it's a really great color. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's got nice pigmentation. It's not too sheer. It's not too opaque. Um, on your lips, it actually is a little bit more sheer than it's coming off on the swatch. Um, but it smells really good. It's got a really, really nice, like, sugary scent. Like, love it. This is actually the same scent um, as another gloss I have from this line. I really like it. I love the applicator. Um, I'll show you guys real quick, but it's like a thin, flat sponge tip applicator, um, so it like, hugs your lips really nicely, it's just easy to use, um, and it gives your lips a really nice shine, and this is like $2, which is an amazing price, so gotta love that. And next I want to talk about the fragrance that I, like, been obsessed with lately. This is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Um, this is a new scent from the Viva La Juicy line. Um, it says, inspired by the blushing or a first love, Viva La Juicy La Fleur is a breathtaking new fragrance that embodies modern femininity. And I would definitely agree with that. Um, it's very much a feminine scent. It's very, like, it reminds me of Viva La Juicy, only more floral, which is perfect for spring and summer it smells so good um it's amazing it's a little bit lighter than Viva La Juicy which to me is more of like a fall winter scent so um this is like the perfect transition for this time of the year it smells amazing and it's great if you like floral scents but you don't like um strong floral scents because it's a good mixture of like sweet and fruity with floral so 
really good stuff there. And two nail polishes that I have really, really enjoyed this month um, are Orly's Passion Fruit, which is an amazing bright hot pink. Depending on um, the lighting that you're in, it's either like a bright coral or a bright hot pink. It just kind of depends. Um, but it's an amazing, amazing color for summer. I've been wearing this on my toes all month long. Really fantastic. Um, and then the other nail polish is Wet n Wild Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, this is a line by Fergie. Um, it's an amazing light pastel glitter. They're all stars, which I love stars, so um, I think it's this amazing color. I've Instagrammed pics with um, a couple of different nail looks that I've done with this as an accent nail. Um, I love it. It's really, really affordable, too. Um, so yeah, kind of obsessed with this right now. Um, the last two things are um, face products, which I'm um, getting into the blush that I've been wearing a lot. And in general, just in summer, I don't wear blushes often. But when I do wear blush, I have been reaching for NYX Powder Blush and Bourgeois Pig, which I love and gorgeous has raved about for months and months. So I decided to pick it up. And it's a really great, like, hot pink color, kind of. Um, actually swatches, it's like when you swatch it on your finger, this looks more hot pink, but when you get it on your hand, it's like, um, lighter, but when you actually put it on your cheeks, it's definitely, well, I guess this depends on your skin tone, but for me, um, it's a really nice, rich flush of color, you don't need a whole lot, um, but it just really helps to give your face some nice color, um, just an easy way to kind of brighten up your whole look so I'm really liking that and the last thing which the label is also worn off because this has been in my purse all the time is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I got mine in Transparent 001 and it's a really great nice light matte powder obviously because of the name um, but this really does keep your face matte for at least a few hours which is really great. For the summertime, especially with somebody with oily skin like me. Um, so it's really nice and lightweight. Um, it doesn't like oxidize or anything throughout the day because it's a transparent color. So um, it's really, really great. I've been enjoying this a lot lately. Um, and those are all of my June favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want um like review any specific products or let me know in the comments below what you've been loving for the month of june um and i will talk to you guys soon bye